Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. My name's Glenn and this is Glenn Rowan Outdoors. We talk about everything, everything to do with the outdoors. Now let's track on with today's vid. What I've got with me today is a four class Trek Easy Fit 50 litre backpack. Yeah, this is one of Decathlon's bags with their um, one of their own company's four class. I'm not telling you the price point yet. Most of you probably already know it, but it was a bargain. And it looks cool for a bargain. I've chosen it in the cool black design. It looks actually it looks awesome. I really like it. So let's crack on with some of the features. This is a easy fit men's backpack. So it's men's due to the, the way in which the straps at the back are positioned, the backrest, all of these sorts of things are uniquely and ergonomically designed for the, the fit of a, a man's back. I don't think it would cause a lot of issues if a woman wore it, um, but it's more for that continual comfort across a long distance hike. It's meant more for the, the body shape of a man. On top of it being a, a men's pack, we've got some nice straps. <laughs> we've got a central zip mechanism. We've got five pockets, four of them are external, one is internal. So we've got one on the back here where I've put my rain cover. We've got a sliding pocket here, which will be suitable for waterproof map, that sort of thing. We have an internal pocket on the top, inside, that's where the rain cover was provided, but I moved it to the outside. We have the one on this side, got restrainers on both sides to tighten your pack and you've got a nice long pocket down the side for all of your stuff in there so you could have that for your snacks for a day your food for a day anything like that but the last pocket is a little i suppose you'd use it to keep your mobile phone in i'm going to say it's not totally water resistant just because of the nature of the material but i think it'll still give you a little bit of protection but put it in a plastic pouch that sort of thing moving on from that handy little item on one side of a pack you've got this handy little water bottle holder I'm not sure what size water bottle it holds yet I'm gonna have to trial it out when I actually do it as a review as I said this is just a short little overview of the pack itself it is made for bladder packs as well so you can put your camel back on the inside as you would a conventional pack and there is plenty of room for your hose to come out the back through here and attach whatever you want on the straps. You've got a nice two pole holders. To be fair, a lot of this is standard of any sort of pack. Now the weight is 1.6 kilograms, which if you have the Osprey Talon 44 litre, this is roughly 400 grams heavier. Which, I mean, it's it's a bigger bag, it's a 50 litre, but it's also, it's, it's a budget bag. It's made from budget materials, so, and more of those budget materials to try and get up the same sort of durability so you'd, you'd expect it to be slightly heavier and that doesn't that doesn't phase me at all 1.6 that's perfectly fine for me Alves, come on bud come here we've got treats now the fabric is a 600 denier polyester on the main body and it's 1600 denier polyester on the base just to reinforce it i mean it's not nylon it's polyester so it's again one of the budget materials but it's they've done a great job of it and it's looks of works to me like most of the packs we'll use on a for general backpacking, it's got handy ventilation areas. The back area is raised off from a bag. It's got a nice aluminium frame and it's got that nice bit of ventilation for you. This bag also has a nice uh, Abby, check. This bag also has a nice area for your sleeping bag to go. Well, it's up to you whether you use it for your sleeping bag or whether you want it as a stink bag to separate your, your dirty clothing if you're on a, a long distance hike totally up to you as mentioned before the base is reinforced so the base will usually get a lot more wear and tear and you're not going to get that with this bag so it's it feels good quality to me the weave is fairly tight not a lot of stretch in there i don't think that is gonna rip anytime soon another nice feature you've got with the base of the bag you've got some nice material hooks if you wanted to add a couple of straps, if you I don't know if you're putting a, a roll mat underneath, you could put straps or bungee cords across that just to hold in your kit on the bottom there. With this pack, that's the sort of thing I'm starting to see. You've got these nice little extras which for the price of a pack 
it's great. It's nice to have these little extras which actually do something, which perform a function, similar to the base where I said you've got those little tags. You do actually have a bungee cord on the top. So you can literally put roll mat or for me, I'm probably gonna use my rain cover under there. Keep it underneath that bungee cord and it's easy ac easily accessible then, isn't it? But I suppose if you wanted to, you could undo this, put that on the bottom of a pack if you put it on the bottom and do that. It's up to you, whatever. So there we have it in a nutshell. That's a four class Trek 100 easy fit 50 litre backpack for men. In my opinion, this has so many great features on it. Just uh, the ton of pockets, the ton of areas for, for storage, the, the ideas behind it, such as, you know, the nice easy little mat pocket they've got, and then the water bottle holder. All of these things add up to a really great pack. Even just the looks of it, it looks amazing. And in my eyes, this is, I mean, I'm only looking on the external visual aspects of this and what I can feel and touch now. We'll take it out into a field at some point and we'll, we'll trial it then. So we'll, we'll be able to test it and put it through to it through its paces, really. As I said, this is from Decathlon. I've not told you the price yet. With all of these features, with all of these extra add-ons, with uh, the great design and environmental outlook, how much are you paying? Well, for a moment, well, I paid 49 quid for this. For about 50 quid, you're getting an insane pack. It's just a cool looking pack, which has so many features and is gonna be great for your backpacking trip. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. There's plenty more on the way, um, especially after lockdown, we're gonna do plenty of adventures as well. And if you are on Instagram, head over to my Instagram channel, uh, my, my Instagram channel, my Instagram account, where you can follow me and um, keep up with my day-to-day -day activities. Cheers, guys.